Trying to set up a proxy on your Mac but not sure where to start? In this video I'll show you how to get it done so you can change your IP address and start browsing anonymously in just minutes. Oh and I'll also share a pro tip to make sure your proxy server for Mac works correctly. Before we dive into the Mac proxy settings, don't forget to hit that like button so we can keep bringing you more proxy configuration tutorials. Why set up a proxy on Mac? While well, the main reason is to mask your IP address and location for better privacy, proxies can help you do so much more. Can't access a website because of geo restrictions? Just use a proxy in the right location and your end. Need to test geo targeted sites or apps? Pick a proxy from that region and see the web exactly how local users do. Want to keep your data secure while using public Wi Fi? A proxy has got your back. All you need is a Mac running a currently supported Mac OS version, which is basically any modern version and the proxy server details from your provider. And if you don't have access to your system preferences for whatever reason, you can still use a web proxy. Just avoid using it for sensitive tasks unless you really trust it. Now, let me show you how to set up a proxy on Mac. You have two options, system-wide proxy configuration which affects all apps and services on your Mac and browser-only setup which applies only to that specific browser. I'll cover both, so let's get started with the system-wide configuration. I'm using IP role proxies and Mac OS Sequoia version 15.3.1, but the steps are pretty much the same across versions. So no matter which one you're using, Using, just follow along and you'll have it up and running in no time. Click on the Apple icon here and select System Settings from the menu. Now select the Network tab. Next you'll see your wired and wireless connections. Just click on the connection type you want to use with your proxy. I'm using Wi-Fi so I'll go with that one. Then find the connection you want to set up and click the Details button next to it. Now select Proxies from the menu on the left. You'll see a few options here. If your network broadcasts proxy settings, turn on also proxy discovery. If you have your proxy server info as a URL or PAC file, just toggle on automatic proxy configuration and provide it. And if you're using a third-party proxy, toggle the switch next to the proxy type you want to use. Just make sure the other options are turned off. We'll go with HTTPS proxies, so let's toggle this option. Let's switch to the IP role dashboard to get your proxy details. We'll use high-end residential proxies from Cupertino, United States with HTTP, HTTPS support and sticky sessions lasting for 12 hours. So once you configure your proxies, copy your proxy hostname and port. Now go back to the system settings window and paste this information in the server and port fields. Turn the proxy server requires password option on if you're not using IP whitelisting. Then copy your username and password from the IP role dashboard to the appropriate fields and click OK when you're done. When you want to stop using your proxy, just uncheck everything in the proxy configuration window and click OK to save the changes. Don't want all your apps on Mac using a proxy? No problem, you can set it up just for your browser. Let's do it in Chrome using the IP role proxy manager extension. Open Chrome on your Mac and install the extension. You can find the link in the description below. Next, click on the extensions icon and pin the IP role proxy manager extension. Then click the IP role proxy manager extension icon and select login. A new Chrome tab will open. Log in with your IP role account and click open extension. Now click the add new proxy button. You have three options here. You can place a new order on our website using the new order button. Configure IP role residential proxies using the add new proxy button or add any proxy using the manual proxy button. We'll use the add new proxy button to configure our residential proxies. Name your profile and set up your proxies. Again, we'll use high-end residential proxies from Cupertino, United States with HTTP, HTTPS support and sticky sessions lasting for 12 hours. Once you're done, click the save button. Your newly created proxy profile will show up in the extension. All that's left to do is click the connect button next to it. Once you do, Chrome will use your proxy for all traffic. Congratulations, you can now use your proxies to browse more privately and securely. 
Remember the tip I promised? Whether you configure a proxy on macOS system wide or just in your browser, always check if it works before using it. You can easily do that by visiting IP Roll's IP address lookup page or any other similar website that shows your current IP address. With an ethical network of over 32 million residential IPs in over 195 locations, precise geotargeting options at no extra charges, and non expiring traffic, IP Royal has the best solution for your proxy needs and budget. Ready to browse more privately and securely? Head to iproll.com and get the best proxies for macOS. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on using proxies without interruptions and hit the bell icon. Until next time.